or so that, you know, we can be able to reach the, the people that we need to reach and just obey our Father in what we're doing. Blessings to you, uh, Lady Dr. Alicia. Blessings to you, Lady Tasha. Blessings to you, Lady Olga. Good to see you. It's been a minute. Um, welcome to you. Blessings, Lady Melody. Um, so I don't know, like, who has been feeling just, like, so heavy. Is it ever going to get better? You know, maybe there's been things that have been impacting your life. Blessings to you, Lady Empress. But, you know, it's it, it's kind of seemed maybe like this overarching or maybe quite possibly it's just seemed and it's felt so very heavy in whatever has been going on. And I just wanted to stop on in and encourage you. I heard earlier um, a change is coming, a change is coming and so with this song. And so, um, you know, this is not one of those songs I listen to like all the time. I know that it was one of those songs that was um you know, very integral to keep hoping, keep believing. But for me, you know, it was one of those, you know, it was, you understand that those, when they were singing these songs were in such a dark place, a hard place. And I believe that that has helped the, um, us pinpoint some of you where you are, what you have had going on and that kind of thing. And I just wanted to encourage you that a change is coming in the name of Jesus. Hey, Lady Sasha, I love you, woman of God. Blessing to you, Lady Latasha, Lady Bella. If I miss you, I'll make sure we catch you at the end. And I'm telling you in the name of Jesus that not just a change is coming, but a change is here. It is upon you in the name of Jesus. And for those, you know, you've been struggling, you've been trying to find balance, you've been trying to figure it out, you're doing the best that you can. And I just want to release that if you have found yourself in that place or just a place where it seems like it's been a confusing or there's so much going on or I, I just sense in the spirit that for some of you it's been a heaviness or even a cloudiness you know to a degree you thought you had it clear you thought that you know based on the way things were going things were finally going to work a certain way and it was good it was cool um and so now you know it's like what in the world is going on i want to encourage you that not just a change is coming hallelujah but a change is here it is upon you and that is why you're in like this move you're in this mood like it's been here in the name of jesus and um i was thinking about coming on yesterday um with the 11 11 you know 2021 and then all that and um and then the father began to speak to me and he was like you were on the day before you know oftentimes you know, there are times, sometimes that there's a word that's released in the moment, but also then there are times where that word is released ahead of time so that by the time you hit that moment, it's already in effect. It's already taken place in Jesus name. And so I just want to release that over those of you, hallelujah, that things are lining up, that you have been in a place of transition literally. And it's not just for the okie doke. It is not, let me say that again, but just for the okie doke is not for the covers to be pulled out from underneath you. Some of you, it's just the, the ability to be able to process through um, just what's going on in this time, being able to process through, you know, what you're feeling in this moment so that you can continue to shift and move forward in Jesus name. And, you know, I, I felt the need to wear the shirt today. Perhaps it was for such a time as this, like there is a reasoning for everything. You're not going through what you want through just to be going through, right? You know, there is a purpose and a time for everything under the heaven. And that means that there's also a time for great breakthrough and the things that you've been experiencing, the heavy that you've been feeling it's not for it to last you know it's not gonna last it won't I hear the song it won't always be like this God will perfect that which concerneth you sooner than later it was, it's going to work in your favor. How I, I just believe that he's turning it around for you in Jesus name. It's literally shifting right in front of you. And then some of you, you know, you are in the place of everything that you've been believing for. Literally, it's working. It, it, this is part of the process of everything that you've been believing for. For those of you who follow me on YouTube, um, there was um, a post made uh, today of a video um, um, in our community. And so I'll probably do a quick word on that later. If you're not following me on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed so that you can get, you know, sometimes they're just 60 second nuggets. Sometimes you just need something real quick. But um, for this word, uh, then I began to hear songs. Holy Spirit oftentimes ministers to me in song. I love the Lord. You know, I always have, you know, and been a worshiper. And so it's not strange that he would speak to me in songs. And so um, I heard the song, Mary, don't 
don't you weep, you know, tell Martha not to moan. It's not the time. Don't you weep. It's time for you not to moan in the name of Jesus. I know there are some of you who were literally like, okay, it should break through right now, you know, and you felt like you were at the end of Hope's Rope or you were like basically moving and making it on a thread, right? And um, you didn't know how much how much more you could take or how much more you could endure or go through. Right. And you're like, <laughs> Woo, OK, you know, and that that John chapter 11, where they're like, Jesus, you know, Lazarus is sick. OK, Lazarus real sick. Lazarus real, real sick, Jesus. And then finally he's like, okay, let's go. He's sleeping. And no, he ain't sleeping. That, this joker, this, this, it's pretty dead. And you feel like there's no possible way. I want to encourage you in Jesus name that the resurrection is here. And then they were like, you know, you know, look, okay, we know that he's going to resurrect, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to come, it's going to happen during the resurrection. And Jesus was like, yo, no, like if you can believe me that resurrection can take place eventually in the sweet by and by, believe me in the now, like it is not too late in the name of Jesus. So wherever you find yourself during this month of October, or excuse me, the month of November, um, and listen, there is nothing that happens by accident. I'm like, why did I just say October? October, the octopus, how many legs does it have, right? So the father is saying, you're in the place of transition for great new beginnings are upon you. And no matter what happened before, it's not going to take the place like it did before in the name of Jesus. During this month of November, this 11th month of 2021, according to our Gregorian calendar, I want to release that over you in Jesus name, that this is a time for divine transition, 10, the number of completion or order of cycle of things, number of 12, um, the kingdom government of God. I believe that you're coming into that place or what have you, but 11, it's right in the middle. It's the transition. It's in between. Like um, there was uh, intended for, for the Israel, they went 12 or excuse me, they went 11 days, but have they gone the other day? They would have been into Canaan land. There was a point where Jesus chose 12 disciples and then there was one that was not right so there was 11 but there needed to be the rest of the thing and the father is bringing you into the place of the rest of the thing and i do want to release this really quickly um with the 1 and 11 deuteronomy 1 and 11 uh, um really quick says and may the god of our ancestors increase you a thousand times more i believe that that is what many of you are walking into another thing really quickly and i'm going to get into the rest of what he gave me i know i'm moving kind of fast um deuteronomy 11 11 11 11 11 listen it says this but the land you are about to cross the river and take for your own is a land of mountains and valleys. It drinks water that rains from the sky. It's a land that God, your God, personally tends. He's the gardener. He alone keeps his eye on it all year long. And I know that we are in, um, it, today is November the 12th. It's still not too late. That's, you know, I just read 11, 11 through 12. Let me continue. From now on, listen, if you listen obediently to the commandments that I am commanding you today, you know, wherever you are, whatever happened, whatever took place before, Father is shifting you in the name of Jesus because your change is here. Your change, not coming. It, your change is here in Jesus' name. Even while we're speaking, things are being shifted right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So from now on, if you listen obediently to the commands that I am commanding you today, love God, your God, and serve him with everything you have within you, he'll take charge of sending the rain. That means he'll give you what you need. He'll take charge of sending the rain at the right time. Some of you need to be encouraged that he's going to give you what you need at just the right time, both autumn and spring rain, so that you'll be able to harvest your grain, your grapes, your olives. He'll make sure there's plenty of grass for your animals. You'll You'll have plenty to eat. You'll have whatever you need, but you need to be vigilant, beloved. I want to encourage you. And, and now I know why he wanted me to release this word today, because it's not just the 11. It's the 11 into the 12. It's the 11 into the 12, right? And so as we are shifting, Jeremiah 1 and 11 says, God speaks to Jeremiah. He says, what do you see? And he was like, I see an almond tree. It didn't look like much, but as we understand, the almond tree was a place where the watchman, they could be on in it and they, they would be taking watch. And so God says, I am watching over my word to perform it. It's not something that you have to do. He is watching over his word to perform. The, uh, another um, translation said, hallelujah, that he will make haste, hallelujah, concerning his word over your life. He's going to perform it. 
in Jesus mighty name hallelujah and so we just release that over you that not only is he gonna but, but he is watching over his word to perform it he is making haste concerning the word he spoke over your life in the name of Jesus and you can anticipate you are going to see a shift and a shift quickly now listen um the last part um that we wanted to go over he dropped this in my spirit right before I went live in the book of Esther because again this is for such a time as now these things are coming it's not just that the change is coming but the better days and better days are coming and so it's a matter of you just holding on the shift is so quick is the shift is so swift it's even upon you and so the word of the lord says this in esther chapter number nine hallelujah 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 it says this in verse number 12 it says what else do you want name it and it's yours your wish is my command hallelujah and so that is what the king ahasuerus or xerxes however you want to say his name um was asking esther we know that you know they had planned you know this downfall for the for the israelites like they were going to take them out they had planned a day to plunder them or whatever but it ended up being a divine reversal in jesus name and so whatever you have felt like you know the enemy meant for evil god is going to work it out for good he's using it for good to save many people alive genesis 50 and 20 it's not just working for your good but it's hallelujah he, he's going to use it for good this is useful this is purposeful in jesus name and and so the king says what else do you want so not only were they not plundered in jesus name not only were they not killed but uh, the king said what else do you want you're coming into the place where daddy is like okay a change is coming not just the change is coming but better days are coming and they're here what else can i do for you in the word of the lord he says name it and it's yours your wish is my command and then esther began to respond if it please the king esther queen esther responded give the jews Susa permission to extend the terms of the order another day in other words when you begin to win you're gonna have more time to win some of you have felt like because it's taken so long you've waited for so long for this you feel like the time is going to be limited you're not going to have that much time to be able to enjoy the business enjoy the money enjoy the marriage enjoy the children you know once things finally start coming around once father turns the heart of the child you know to the to the mother or the father or what have you you're like i don't even know how much time and so the enemy has you thinking you're not going to have that much time to be able to embrace it enjoy once the church turns around once the ministry turns around but the devil is alive she asked for another day hallelujah and it goes on to say in verse 14 the king commanded it the order was extended hallelujah and so i want to release that over you in jesus name that the king Habaso, is commanding it the order is being extended according to what he has asked and what you have requested and what he has commanded that's why many of you you, you have to shift from you know daddy i just want what you want the king is asking you really what do you want what's in your heart and you've been numb so long and you've gotten to the place where you don't don't want your expectations to be disappointed so you stopped hoping or you're like you know what whatever you want to do I'm good with you know and because to keep on hoping hope deferred has made the heart sick according to Proverbs 13 and 12 and so you've been in the place but there is a te there is a heartbeat to that text and it says but uh, but a promise fulfilled is a tree of life and I want to encourage you that it ain't over until the promise is fulfilled he is not a man that he should lie but he will perform that which he has spoken hallelujah I just hear that song right now. God will perfect that which concerneth me sooner than later. I keep hearing it. And that's rooted in Psalms 138. He is going to work it out in your favor in Jesus' mighty name. Let me conclude in verse 22 because I keep on seeing 22, 222, that kind of thing. And we already know those of you follow me for a while what that means hallelujah concerning promise the number two actually represents partnership it can represent division there are some things that as you partner with certain things there are some things that you are going to be divided from you're going to come away from leave and cleave you know all that but um then uh, the partnership it stands for unity it's uh, and so it's also representing Habasoto. Hallelujah. It's also representing a uh, partnership. It's also representing a, a testimony. There is a testimony that you shall have in Jesus name. Blessings to you, Lady Brittany. Love you, woman of God. And so um, in verse number 22, hallelujah. 
it says this. I, actually, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit further so you can get the full context of the word. Mordecai wrote all this down and sent copies to all the Jews in all the King Xerxes provinces, regardless of distance, calling for an annual celebration on the 14th and 15th day of Adar as a question when the Jews got relief from their enemies. I want to prophesy, release this decree and declare it that you are getting relief from your enemies in the name of Jesus. It says the month in which their sorrow turned to joy. I want to prophesy, decree and declare in Jesus mighty name that your sorrow is turning to joy in the name of Jesus. It says morning summer salted into a holiday for parties and fun and laughter. Listen, that's that's why Mary don't you weep tell Martha not to moan in Jesus name because he is shifting things he is moving things hallelujah and so what you felt like was mourning what you felt like was grief it's gonna do a somersault in your life and somersaults we know happen quickly <laughs> listen they happen so quickly you can't somersault in slow motion. You'd be about to fall, right? And so it's going to happen quickly. It says it, it somersaults into a holiday for parties and fun and laughter. The enemy wants to make you to feel like, you know, this is a time of grieving. It's a time, you know, of dark time. It's a time that, you know, are you going to be, you know, uh, you, what are your holidays going to look like? Maybe you feel like you don't have the money. You know, maybe you feel like, you know, where is the boo going to be or whatever, you know, the, this cup of season you see in other you know whatever whatever and so you the enemy wants you to think in your mind you're gonna be by yourself or you won't always be or it's gonna no it won't it won't always be like this the lord is perfecting that which concerned you in jesus name sooner than later it's working in your favor the lord our god our, our, is turning it around for you it says the sending and receiving of presents and of giving gifts to the poor listen this is the time to send it's also the time to receive the presents and the gifts and be able to give to others. And I just believe that the Father is going to move in your life to be able to enable you to be a blessing in Jesus' mighty name. And so it said, and they did it. And what started then became a tradition, continuing the practice of what Mordecai had written to them. I am telling you in the name of Jesus that you are coming into the place where you are going to begin new family traditions. You are going to begin other trends. You're going to begin new traditions that you can expect for you, for your family, for what the Father is bringing you into. And this is a time where he is looking where you have to know what you want. You got to know what you want. This is not the time to be numb. This is the time to speak and decree, declare, and, and tell Father what you want. Hallelujah. Because he is faithful to perform it. And that's literally what happened. It's time for you to begin to consider, you know, what do you, what does that promise look like for you? What does that family look like for you? What does that marriage look like for you? What does that, you know, uh, um, relationship with your child look like for you? What does the business look like for you? What does joy look like to you? What does happiness look like? What does love look like to you? What are you going to put in place as that thing comes around so you can continue in it as you begun it in Jesus name? He that hath a begun a good work in you shall perform it unto the day of Christ Jesus. I'm telling you, this we are confident of this very thing. Philippians 1 and 6, being confident that he that hath begun the work, he's going to perform it. He's going to do it. He's going to fulfill it. He's going to accomplish it in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, Hebrews 10, 35, cast not therefore away your confidence because it has great recompense of reward. Now he that shall come will come and he will not tarry. This thing is not going to hold back forever. You've had needed a patience that after you've done the will of God, you will inherit the promise. You will inherit the promise. You've waited. You've done the will of God. And some of you, you're in that cycle or that circle again where you're waiting and you're doing the will of God, but he will honor you. He will honor that time. He will honor your faith. He will honor your way. And I come to release it today in Jesus mighty name that not only is a change going to come, <laughs> but now is the time to stop weeping. Now is the time to put away those grave clothes, those mourning clothes in Jesus mighty name. There was a time we released this word the other other day about Esther, right? excuse me, about Ruth. And Naomi was like, girl, it's time for you to change your clothes. It's time for you to take a bath, put on some smell goods and go in there. It's time for your establishment. It's time for your settlement in Jesus name. Listen, she had been wearing those other clothes from when her husband passed away. Widow no more. This is the time for you to be a worshiper. This is the time for you, to, for some of you, for you to be a wife. For some of you, this is your time for you to work. This is your time for you to receive. This is the time. How 
hallelujah, for you to be able to put some of those war clothes up. I know you're a warrior, but hallelujah, this is the time you're coming into the fulfillment of things in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Even Hebrews 10, 23, you know, we believe that the God who promised is faithful to perform that which he has spoken. Let me give you another 11 and 12 right now. Hebrews 11 and 11 begins to speak of how Abraham, you know, it wasn't, it didn't seem possible for things to happen. But then the verse comes around to say, hallelujah, that, that Sarah received strength to conceive seed because she charged God faithful who promised. I'm telling you, this is the time for you to charge him faithful faithful who the promise came from hallelujah it doesn't matter what it looks like on that side it doesn't matter where you felt like you got it right you got it wrong he is shifting things he is working things out for your good in the name of jesus and it's moving right now even now in the name of jesus father hallelujah i just bless you right now i ain't got time for exhaustion lady rosanna like i love you woman of god but this word is sent to encourage you obviously the spirit of the lord knows and i'm not just talking to you obviously the spirit of the lord knows that you all have been exhausted. You've been tired. That's why the start of this word was what it was, but we're shifting you from exhaustion to exhilaration. This is your time, hallelujah, for you to come into. And some of you, it's a mindset shift. It's a mindset change because if you sitting up there with your grave clothes on, if you continue to remain in your grieving garments, how, do you want somebody who's going to have pity on you or do, are you ready for it to be promised for you? You you have this shift in your mind hallelujah and so i'm here to raise your expectation so that you can walk in that which he has spoken otherwise you're going to continue to attract that which you have been you're going to continue to attract that which you are and the fire is looking to shift you into another place. He's looking to move you into another place. That That's what helped Ruth, you know, it made her take notice because she wasn't continuing to work as though she was exhausted, as though she was weary, as though she was down, as though, you know, it, and, and, and not being able to just be, um, um, made to be what was perceived like it you know it was it's so what I, maybe you were a widow but now I'm working now I'm a warrior now I'm worshiping right and I'm getting it done and he saw and they were able to see her effort they were able to see you know her work ethic they were able to see that and it's time for people to be able to see who you really are the essence of really who you are instead of what the enemy wants to keep you pressed down at you know, to be this depressed person that people have pity on. The devil is a liar. You are full of purpose. You are full of promise and can't no devil hold you down. So don't allow yourself to, uh, uh, to keep you down. I heard this song. <laughs> can't nobody hold me down. Oh no. I got to keep on moving. You got to keep on moving. And so if I am here to be your cheerleader today, if I am here to be your, your you know, that, that push that the stretcher for you today i need you to shift from where you were to where you're going hallelujah it's time for you to change your garments it's time for you to walk in the fullness of what father has for you i love you i want it to work i want it to win and so i, I I'm, I'm i'm praying and i am here to try to get you from that dark place to where you need to be so that you can trust in the lord thy god and you can see everything that he spoke over you because he is going Going to do it he's too faithful to fail he's not a man that he should lie listen he is a, he keeps his word hallelujah his track record is good and he ain't finna trip just you know what i'm saying he's not gonna lose his track record you know to disappoint you he will never fail you he will not leave you he will not forsake you but he will never fail you deuteronomy 31 verse number six through eight so we just decree a shift is here a shift is now change your garment take you a bath spray on you some good perfume i'm gonna give you uh, the same instructions that naomi gave to uh, to ruth some of you need to hear that today men of god put on that good cologne uh, you know if you got to put on your red dress and your high heels you know uh, that sweet perfume it looks good on you it's time for you to shift your mind maybe what you've been waiting for is on the other side of a shifted mindset you've been losing for too long you are not a loser you are not the condition of what seems like it is taking place maybe you made a mistake but you're not a mistake 
I decree that now. Maybe you made a mistake, but you're not a mistake. And we have to shift from that mindset so that you have the ability to have the confidence, to have the courage, to be able to do what needs to be done. Other words, you will lack the trust. You will lack the hope. You will lack the faith to be able to get done what needs to get done so that you can walk in the fullness and the fulfillment and the fruition of everything that is supposed to be, that is to be, so you can confidently and boldly take the step that needs to be taken. Take the step, the faith, hallelujah, that needs to be taken in Jesus' name. We trust in the Lord thy God, hallelujah, and do good, and you shall eat the good of the land in Jesus' mighty name. Psalms chapter number 37, trust in the Lord, commit your your way unto him and see won't he bring it to pass i'm telling you he is great he, not only he will give you the desires of your heart he'll give your heart what to desire and some of you you've been desiring what you felt like he wanted for you but you need to he is the one who is in control of that and so if you shift your mind you'll be able to confidently listen take the door that are open before you until you get to the door that he has spoken over you and it's happening it is happening it is happening it is happening it is happening in the name of jesus Jesus, even now, hallelujah, many of you, you just crossed over, it's 11 o'clock right now, you are walking in the time of your transition, let this be a Friday like none other, in Jesus' mighty name, this is fulfillment Friday, this is fruitful Friday, this is fruition Friday, this is Father's faithful Friday unto me, I just believe, I just decree, I just declare that a change is upon you, in Jesus' mighty name. But and if you I need you to see it, I need you to see it so that you can walk in it so you don't miss your door and be like, oh, that was it. Oh no. And you feel like you missed something. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Because if you shift your perspective, you will see the opportunity there and you can be able to walk in it, live in it, move in it in Jesus' name. So Father, we just bless you right now. Hallelujah. That not, not only is the change coming, not only is the better days are coming. I hear that. I, come on, Lady Leandria. Better days are coming. Listen, your better days are coming. They are here. You are walking in that thing in Jesus' name. So, Father, we just bless you now for what you're doing, how you're moving. Father, we thank you for opportunities that are coming in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we will see what you done. We will see what you're doing. We will walk in the faithfulness of you. Hallelujah. You are too faithful to fail. We bless you right now. Hallelujah for the changes that you have allowed to take place in our life. I just decree right now, Father, even as you showed me earlier, your hallelujah that the comeback is upon us in jesus mighty name father i thank you that your people are coming back not just about they're coming back they're moving in the fulfillment of all things in jesus name hallelujah y'all make sure y'all uh testify of the goodness of the lord because somebody you can expect to be contacted today you can expect the shift today in jesus mighty name somebody needs to know that your holidays are not going to be like they were be not dismayed whatever may be tied hallelujah he is faithful the father is moving and he is going to provide in jesus mighty name i may not know where it's coming but it's coming Hallelujah in Jesus' mighty name. You may not know where it's coming from, but it's coming. And I want to release this upon you as well. Hallelujah. Be able to move and shift with the way the Father is moving and shifting. It may not be in that old place. Stop crying over what door has been closed. Hallelujah. That's how help to redirect you to the door that is open. Maybe that's an opportunity that will come back later, but don't miss what he is breathing on. Father, we want to move where you're breathing. We want to move where you're working. We want to do what you are doing in Jesus' mighty name. And we want to walk in everything that you have spoken over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I bless you now. That your people shall never, ever be the same. In Jesus' name, Father, I bless you now for the release. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for the rain. I bless you right now. Hallelujah for the exhilaration that is a upon your people. I thank you, Father, for the move that is in their life in the name of Jesus. And I just decree, hallelujah, that the unction that they feel that they will move, hallelujah, in courageous confidence in the thing that they know that you have spoken in Jesus' name. May they hear you clearly. May they walk in all things. 
that you have said concerning them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For today is the day of change. For today is the day that things shift, that they move in Jesus' mighty name. Open up their eyes, Father. So that they can see the way you desire for them to see in the name of Jesus. They will perceive the thing correctly in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And I just release that prayer for you, even as the prophet prayed, hallelujah, in 2 Kings, hallelujah, where he said, open up my servant's eyes so he can see what I see. And instead of seeing an army that was coming against him, he had saw the host, a host, a host of angel armies that and he was able to declare that there are more for you than are against you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Embrace it. Embrace what the Father is doing. Embrace it. Embrace what the Father is moving. Don't be overwhelmed. Hallelujah. This is part of the process. This is part of the breakthrough, not just the breaking. And you shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree, we declare it is so and so it is in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Listen, beloved, I love you with the love of the Lord. Expect him to move. And I want to hear your testimony. Hallelujah. For some of you, it's going to be within the next 24 hours. For some of you, hallelujah, it's just moving, 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 moving in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm excited for the move in your life in Jesus' name. For those of you, if you feel led, I would be remiss and not give you an opportunity to sow into this word. You can do that at paypal.me forward slash Lady Jeremiah or Venmo at Lady Jeremiah or the cash app is dollar sign M mana one dollar sign M mana one. Um, and so I'm just excited about what daddy is doing. I'm excited for how he's moving in your lives. I'm excited for what he's doing. If you're not a part of our community, make sure you subscribe. Um, YouTube.com forward slash Lady Jeremia. You can also follow me on uh, Facebook at Lady Jeremia and Jeremia Bussard. And then on Instagram at Lady Jeremia. I want to connect with you. I want to encourage you. I need you to be able to see it the way daddy sees it so that you can walk in everything. And he said he was going to walk. You were going to walk in. Take the grave clothes off and trust in the Lord thy God. See, won't he bring it to pass? It's already happening. It's moving in your favor. And so I just speak strength to you. I speak endurance to you in Jesus mighty name. You will make it. You will not fail because he's not going to fail you in the name of Jesus. Blessings to you, Lady Tiffany, Lady Obapa, Lady Patricia. Blessings to you, Brother Paul, Brother Tony, uh, Brother Liam. God bless you all. Thank you for the seed, Lady Shandrika. May the blessing of